Hello everyone, welcome to A plus BI. This channel is all about complex numbers and in this video we're going to be solving an interesting equation. I'd like to call this homemade but I've probably seen this problem somewhere or maybe I thought about it. Who knows? Doesn't matter, right? No big deal. But we have ln z equals negative z. And z is supposed to be a complex number because this channel is all about complex numbers, right? And what's the channel called? A plus bi. So, one thing to think about is, can I just replace z with a plus bi and go to the solution? Possibly. But one thing that's kind of missing from this problem is the modulus of z. If the modulus of z is not 1, then replacing z with something like a plus bi or r times e to the i theta, which you know is the polar form, right? Is kind of painful because if you don't know what r is, now we're going to have to deal with two variables. Maybe it's solvable. I haven't tried it. Please let me know if there is a solution by using one of these forms. But I'm going to do something differently. So what am I going to do? I'm going to put the, these two things into a nicer form, what, what I call t e to the t. Well, you could also write it as t times e to the t, right? It would pronounce the same, but you get the idea, right? It doesn't matter. So as long as these two things are the same, we're in good shape. Why? The answer is w, Lambert's w function. Because if you apply Lambert's w function on something like this or something like this, they give you t. Well, let's just assume that t is equal to t in this case so that we don't have a problem. Anyways, you get the idea. When I apply Lambert's w function to something like t times e to the t, then we get t. Isn't that nice? In other words, it's the inverse function for t times e to the t. How do we do that, though? There's actually two ways to do it. Wait a minute. I spoiled the surprise, did I? But here's what I'm going to do. First of all, I'm going to exponentiate both sides. Since ln z equals negative z, I can do e to the power both sides, and the equation will still be true, right? Well, complex exponentiation is a little different. You know, you have to consider some um, different branches and the ln of a complex number, you know, so on and so forth. Anyways, let's just try to keep it very simple, very non-rigorous, and very loose. You know, that's my style. Now, e to the ln z is z, right, most of the time. And this gives us z equals e to the power negative z. Did I tell you I'm going to show you the result from Wolfram Alpha as well? So, we got a nice equation. You know why? Because I'm going to multiply both sides by something. Let's go ahead and move this a little bit out of the way, like this. And then I'm going to, oops, I also need to do that here. So I guess I should put my equal sign here maybe, okay? I, I'd like to multiply both sides by e to the power z. Guess what? That's going to give me 1 on the right-hand side, and uh, t, I mean z, times e to the z on the left-hand side. Great, because now I can apply Lambert's w function, can't I? Okay, let's see. Now we're going to go ahead and w both sides. And that should give us the answer right away because we're looking for z, don't we? We're looking for z. z equals, notice that when you apply Lambert's w function on z times e to the z, the output will be just z. Obviously, we don't have a way to express Lambert's w function uh, explicitly, but we can kind of express it this way. So z is supposed to be product log, that's what you usually enter into Wolfram Alpha, this is also called product log, because it kind of logs a product and gives you something nicer. So we can put this into Wolfram Alpha and see what the answer is going to look like. But what do you think this value is going to be about? It's going to be about 0 0.5, 6, and 7. Try to remember that value. And let's go ahead and take a look at what Wolfram Alpha gives us, right? And wait a minute. We have a graph and the solution is negative. No, it's not negative. It's in the fourth quadrant, which means 
the x or z value, this is the z value, remember, is positive. You see that? Okay, and that's about 0 0.567. And when you look at solution from Wolfram Alpha, uh-oh, did we get it wrong? Because we found w of 1, right? Well, they look different, but if you put this into a calculator, you're going to get the same value. How come they look different, but they give us the same answer, right? Something to think about. But let me tell you something first, and then we'll get back to this, okay? So now, when we did this multiplying both sides by something, remember we had ln z equals negative z, right? We kind of multiply both sides by something, and then we ended up with something else. So, we could do this differently. How? We could kind of bring these two together in a different way by using division. I could divide both sides by z, and that would give me ln z over z equals negative 1, right? And then I could write this z as 1 over z times ln z equals negative 1. And then could I get the t e to the t from here? Absolutely. But you just got to play with the rules a little bit. So I can kind of write this as z to the power of negative 1, or I can play with the z and write this as ln 1 over z to the power of negative 1. You see that trick? Because the reciprocal of 1 over z is actually z itself, right? Hopefully z is not 0. It's not. You know that. Because it's not, it doesn't satisfy the original equation. You know, ln 0 is undefined, right? Even if in the complex world. Anyways. And now what am I going to do next? Bring this negative 1 to the front. Now, by the way, this equals negative 1, right? So we can go ahead and bring this negative 1 to the front and write, kind of write this as negative 1 over z times ln 1 over z equals negative 1. And then multiply both sides by negative 1 and get rid of the negative 1 completely and write this as 1 over z. Or how about this? Let's save some space because I do need it. Just remove the negatives. And now we got an equation, but wait a minute, it's not t to the t yet, but we can make it, don't worry. We can kind of write this as follows. We can write ln 1 over z first, and then 1 over z can be written as e to the power ln 1 over z, and now you can do Lambert's w on both sides, because now it is t e to the t. Let me go ahead and move this over here, and now I w'd both sides. How? If you call this t, look at that, this is going to be e to the t, right? You see that? So when you apply Lambert's w, the answer is going to be ln 1 over z equals w of 1. And then, of course, in this case, you kind of need to do a little bit of uh, manipulation. You can go ahead and write um, this as e to the power of both sides. So e to the power of ln 1 over z is going to be e to the w1. And that's going to give you 1 over z equals e to the power w1. And then by taking the reciprocal, z is just going to be 1 over e to the power w1, which is e to the power negative w1, which is what Wolfram Alpha gave us. But these two expressions are equivalent. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.